Hello and welcome to the channel. This is All The Gear and No Idea with me, Sav. If it's your first time to the channel, a massive welcome to you. And if you're returning to the channel, a massive welcome back. It is a pleasure to have you all here. And I hope everyone is having a super blessed day. So, uh, off of the back of my uh, first ever time listening to uh, Stray Kids and reacting to a couple of their songs for my friend Akin, um, st Stays have been commenting like crazy. <laughs> It's been I'm a little overwhelmed. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate it. And you're all so lovely. Like, loads of the comments have been really nice. I'm genuinely, genuinely so awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Stays. Thank you. I've learned the fandom name as well. Um, Here's my trusty notepad. This is where we're up to. This is a double-sided page uh, that I've written out of everybody's comments. Um, <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys are great. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever, ever so much for um, also telling me things um, and answering some of the questions I had in the uh, in my first reaction video. Like uh, the logo is in Bang Chan's handwriting, and he designed it himself. I think that is supremely cool. <laughs> the man is dripping in cool like that. He produces produces music. Is the leader of the group. Seems like an all round great human being from what people have been saying. And he designed it. He just sounds phenomenally cool. Like, yeah, I want to know more about him. Um, and loads of song suggestions. But also part of that is guide suggestions. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing um, a Stray Kids Guide 2022. Um, now, a lot of you um, suggested Tea No Sugars version. Um, we're not going to do that one today. We're going to check out um, Kells the Killers version because it has no spoilers, which somebody suggested. But what I was thinking, because just I found it so absolutely wholesome that you guys were like supporting somebody from the community and putting forward their particular um, their particular guide. I just thought that was like genuinely so lovely of you all. Um, what we might do in the future then um, is we we may if, if you want like one may be enough but if you want but because i just genuinely loved it so much and i really want to check it out maybe after we've gone through a bunch of stray kids discography we'll circle back and we'll watch tino sugar's ver like guide 22 guide version as well the long one i mean kells the killers one is still 40 minutes long but i believe um tino sugar's is a bit longer but uh, only if you guys want um i tell you what we'll we will circle back to uh, Tino Sugar's version at a later date because I really want to check it out after seeing you all su like su you know support it and push it forward so we will come back to it okay right well I've rambled on enough um, for this intro um, I will cut some of it down so you may not see some of it <laughs> uh, um, but yeah so we are going to check out uh, Stray Kids 22 2022 guide spoiler free by Kells the Killer I hope you enjoy Alrighty then, let us check out a spoiler-free guide, a spoiler-free Stray Kids Guide 2022 edition, updated as of September 2022. Well, thank you to Kells the Killer for your guide video. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Pausing is highly recommended, although it dropped off there. In order to prevent spoilers for new listeners, this guide will not include music released by Stray Kids on any official channel, including the covers or non-album originals released on their YouTube channel. However, covers performed during fan events, TV appearances, or live streams may be featured. Fair enough, that's a great... I love that, straight off the bat. Pausing, there you go. Pausing is highly recommended. Who are Stray Kids? What? Uh, formed through a survival slash reality show from JYP Entertainment 2017, Stray Kids, uh, or SKZ, officially debuted as a nine-member group on March 25th, 2018, and transitioned to an eight-member group in October 2019. That is a shame. Official fan base name, Stay, I like that. Stray Kids, everywhere, all around the world, you make Stray Kids stay. And there you go. I love that that's Bang Chan's. And right in. <laughs> so, oh, let's go. Right. Oh, 
jeepers. Right, wanting to try a new method to form their next group, JYP chose a trainee named Bang Chan, who had a lot of potential and a longer than most trainee period, and allowed him to select his own members to debut with. That is epic. Knowing JYP, uh, or the little that I know of JYP, this is, this, that's, wow, okay. <laughs> the idea was to form a team without company intervention, allowing the band members to form a natural and believable bond instead of throwing people together and hope they would work. Yeah, I think that's how everybody should do it. Why, why is this such a out of the norm thing? Um, as the chosen leader, Bang Chan was to be in charge of everything from making their own music to training the team. That's epic. After several challenges and two members almost being permanently eliminated, Stray Kids successfully debuted with all the members originally chosen. That's epic. That is so cool. Right, continuing on. Oh, I, I've read too far. If he wanted to stay with you, he'd have to scold us and grow apart from us in order to debut you. I thought I think that, that was the toughest reality about being a trainee. That's actually. When you scold. When you were younger than I am. A kid was leading kids. Well. Uh, widely considered an all-rounder group, SKZ no longer has fixed positions such as main dancer, main vocal, or main rapper. This is because each member can genuinely do every role. A lot of you guys were saying, uh, a lot of you stays were saying this in the comments, and I find that phenomenally fantastic like, that's so cool imagine finding that many people that are all rounders and they're all being in the same group that's just that's brilliant however some members are more focused on or more well known for certain skills this is where their subunits came in skz has three subunits three ratchet dance ratchet and vocal ratchet of the three three ratchet is the only officially named and credited group dance ratchet and vocal ratchet were fan named well done. Uh, but because of their popularity, even the group uses those names to refer themselves. I think that's brilliant. I idol groups are, li are linked to their fandoms. They are like the lifeblood of the group. So when they start using stuff that fans come up with, that shows you guys have a really good connection with, with the group. I love that. Uh, even the Ratchet subunits don't fully categorise them, so uh, don't fully categorise them. The rap line, most frequent rappers consist of uh, Changbin, Han, Hyunjin, and Felix. The vocal line are Sung, Sung Min, Ayen, Bang Chan, Han, and Lee No. Oh, Han's in mobile. Han always has equal parts of both. Nice. Moving on. Really do like this background music, by the way. Okay. Three Ratchet. So we got Bang Chan, Chang Bin, and Han. Now, I may get Han and Chang Bin uh, confused a little bit. It's the hair. I just, the, the hair throws me. I think Han has a slightly, uh, I want to say prettier, because they're both rather, you know, attractive young men. Uh, but you get what I mean. It, his smile is like it's pretty. He's got a pretty smile. Let's go with that. Three Ratchet. Three Ratchet started his pre-debut underground rap unit. <laughs> Brilliant. Posting their self-written and produced music to SoundCloud and performing at showcases together. Now these same three members are producing the unit. Uh, are the producing unit for all of uh, Stray Kids' discography. Thanks to Three Ratchet, SKZ almost entirely makes their own music. Flipping epic. They occasionally partner with other producers for certain tracks and sometimes lyricists for translation purposes. Somebody did tell that to me in the comments, actually, and the fact that they credit, like, they shout them out. Which, again, it's just such a wonderful quality in a group and uh, people and a leader that you shout out people that worked with you instead of, like, just being like, yeah, we did this. 
Like, you give credit where credit's due, and I just... I respect them madly for that. Uh, and sometimes lyricists for translation purposes such as Japanese releases. Noise. Even within these partnerships, SKZ remains heavily involved in the production, lyrics, and arrangement of every single one of their songs. As such, they hold the position for first, second, and third most credited fourth-gen idols on Comca. <laughs> These guys are so cool. We're only a minute and a half in. <laughs> I already love them. What is in this? In our team, there is a producing team called Three Racha. Hands up. Three Racha. So it's me, Changbin, and Han. We always try our best to really uh, mix in our opinions and uh, we really you know, put our heads together to make a really great song. And uh, since we've debuted, all our songs have been made by us, so we're pretty proud that of that. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so impressive. That is impressive. What? Dance Ratchets. So we got Lino, Hunjin, and Felix. Yes, somebody also commented that I fell, fell into the Felix trap. Yep. <laughs> As the name suggests, all right, Dance Ratchet. As the name suggests, the three members of Dance Ratchet keep a heavy focus on dancing and have a hand in helping design choreo for the group. However, unlike with their music, Stray Kids is not a self choreographed group. They work with choreographers and dance teachers for the stages. <gasps> dance Ratchet members are usually featured in solo dances for group choreo and are often chosen for end of the year performance collaborations with dancers from other groups. The flipping epic. Among fans, Dance Ratchet is often considered the visual line of the group. Often uh, tape for solo pictorial and modeling gigs. Uh, they partnered with Etro for their unisex sneakers and Paisley pop up shop and had magazine features such as GQ Career, Arena, Beauty Plus, Dazed, and At Style One. I hate them now. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. That's so cool. But they are really attractive guys, so that's understandable. That is understandable. I love this. This is so in depth. Thank you, Kels the Killer. Wow. God, I gotta stop a second. I, we, this is gonna be such a long video. I'm so sorry. Why does he look so freaking cool? Like his style is in. I could never pull that off. Ever. He just. <laughs> Again, why why is he so cool? Vocal Ratchet. And we've got Sun Min and I N. Finally, Vocal Ratchet is formed by the two youngest members in SKZ. Both members can uh, can and do rap, but their singing tones are both so distinct and powerful that their vocals stand out from the rest. Their voices are most often heard in the choruses, bridges, and ad-libs of SKZ songs. And while they always stand out, they truly sign, shine sign, truly shine on SKZ ballads. Both are incredibly hardworking and passionate vocalists. They like to go live on VLive, often to sing covers and practice in front of Stay. And the SKZ official YouTube SKZ record and SKZ player series is filled with their studio recorded covers and original songs. Guess I'm going to have to go subscribe to both of those channels. Actually, I'm going to write that down. Sub to SKZ. We're the official vocal actually. Let's not lose our minds. <laughs> um, out of curiosity, does um, 
Sung Min have braces? Has, does he have braces and does he have them in when he sinks? Because if he does, um, what the hell, that guy is freaking impressive. I remember having braces as a kid and sounding like an absolute weirdo. Although not much has changed. <laughs> <laughs> Discography, excluding single releases only. Right, mixtape, I am not, I am who, I am you. That's cute. Pre debut, debut. Uh, Clay One Mir Miro, Yellowwood, Lovinator, SKC 2020. Miro earns SKC's first Korean music show win on M Countdown. Nice. Well done, guys. To be fair, I'm pretty sure they won loads for Case 143, didn't they? Go live. Go live. God's Menu MV became the first uh, MV to reach 100 million views. It was cool. <laughs> God's Menu is... I've watched it several times after I've reacted to it. Especially after you guys left comments on it and telling me bits I've missed. I've gone back to check them out. Anyway, we digress. Uh, repackage, first Japan album, second full album, so in life, all in, no easy. Uh, first JYP artist to sell more than a million copies worldwide. They sold more than twice. Isn't twice like... Wow, that's... Wow. Wow. <laughs> twice are huge. Christmas Evil. A lot of people are saying we need to... We need to check that one out. Uh, wins first place on Music Bank despite no music show promotions. Oh, that's you, that's when you know it's a great song. Uh, SKZ 2021, Ordinary, came out this year. Circus came out this year. And Maxident. Oh, it's a Japan album. Oh, we're going to have to check those out, aren't we? Right, let's go. I'm really sorry for the long video. Member profiles, here we go. Ang Chan. <laughs> right, Bang Chan. Leader, three ratchet, 130 comca credits. Flip. Birth name is Bang Christopher Chen. Three ratchet stage name CB97. Common nicknames Chan or Chani. Representative emoji is a wolf. So he's like Xion from Dreamcatcher. Love it. Uh, 97 child. He was born in Seoul, South Korea. Grew up in Australia. He's an Aussie black. SK Zoo merch character is Wolf Chan. Instagram hashtag. Excellent. Used on his official Insta posts. I have to go find that out, won't I? I feel like I don't have to pause as much at the moment. I could just read this. Oh, he says, right, he was 30, 13 uh, when he passed a, a J. What was I doing with when I was 13? Not being that epic. Oh, jeepers. Passed a JYP open audition in Australia and made the decision to move to Korea to become a trainee. He got his first taste of producing when he rearranged music for a trainee showcase. He and the rest of Three Ratchet then took production and composition classes pre-debut to improve their skills. Wow. He was a trainee for seven years. That's such a long time. Before he was given the opportunity to form his own group. Still epic. He grew close with other famous JYP idols, such as Got Seven's Bam Bam and Twice's Sana. I actually... I, I, yeah, I think I know they're quite good friends. I, since watching some of the stuff, YouTube then decides to send you loads, and I click on a couple. And there is one where I think they're recording something, and Sano then comes in, and it's like heavily awkward, and he just like, they're cute, they're cute. Um, but found that his friends either debuted without him or were dropped from the trainee program entirely. Well, that's a shame. Is there a real fear that you might not debut? Yes, there is. Because, um, I don't know. I, it's probably different for a lot of companies. But um, uh, I guess when, from companies, uh, companies' opinion, um, if they think you don't have the potential anymore, they could just 
yeah, they can just yeah. cut you out and be like, you know, we don't think you're gonna get anywhere, and they can say bye bye. There was a time when, Damn. um, for me, that's tough. For me, I had a lot of um, you know, people that I was close to, but then oh, besides just me, everyone else just did not make it, and I was alone for quite a while. And that's when, you know. Like a lot of thoughts came in, and it must have been yeah, really I, tough. I was in like a very dark stage of my time, yeah. and it was pretty hard. Mm. But I want to hug him. Getting through all that, um, I want to hug him. Got my mindset to get a bit more clear, clearer. Um, these boys came in, and yeah, they basically yeah. saved me. <laughs> That's so What's cute. Yeah. <laughs> what is? Uh, Bang Chance. Well, I'm just gonna call him Chan from now. On. Chan's family has proven very supportive of his career, showing up to his concerts, saving his merch, and participating in TV show appearances such as Finding SKZ for Mnet. Uh, he has a younger sister and brother, as well as his dog Berry, a King Charles Spaniel. What a cute dog! <laughs> his family still lives in Australia. Uh, before he became a trainee, Bang Chan was a talented swimmer. Uh, he went. He lived in Australia. That's not. It's not that impressive. Okay, it's impressive. Where he won many awards and served as a coach. Is there anything this guy cannot do? He plays the ukulele, piano, and guitar, and has taken cl dance classes like ballet and modern. What can this man not do? Just... So cool. <laughs> I wish I was that cool. Since January of 2019, Chan has done weekly V-Live streams known as Chan's Room. During these streams, he talks to stays about everything from behind the scenes of filming music videos, performing at award shows or dorm life. He even answers fan questions and shows off his favorite music. Since all of SKC's music is made on his laptop, he gifts Stay the unique privilege of showing off things like their guide tracks, raw vocals, and the production process between what goes uh, into their music. Occasionally, other members or JWFP artists will make an appearance. Why is he such a freaking brilliant human being? Watch Chan on V Life. For goodness sake. He's so cool. <laughs> We're only six minutes in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the tortoise and the hair. Woo! Stay's got taste. <laughs> Oh, I look forward to checking this one out then. <laughs> the Taurus and the Hair is a bad song. <laughs> I mean, well, it was really, really experimental. It had a really big impact, yeah, that's what it had. And um, yeah, it was really, really experimental. That's why I guess people, you know, might not really like it. But um, yeah, completely, completely, completely understandable. But <laughs> I'm still going to play it anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Zoom by Jesse. Lights, camera, action. I see you looking at my pee. I see. Look at Danga Danga, John the Danga Baba Kito. Zoom in. 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 Zoom I recently saw um, um, a BuzzFeed interview, I think it was BuzzFeed, a BuzzFeed interview where Chris Evans came out and it was the interview with puppies. Ah! <laughs> I've seen that interview. interview. It's cute. Oh my gosh. It was, oh, just, oh, it was so cute. It was very, very cute. Like, oh, they're doing... I mean, wait, 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 too, wait, wait, like, wait, no, wait, like, wait. Adorable. It was so cute. Uh, no, as of editing this guide, it is yet to be released. No, did that say... And it was the interview Spoiling. with the puppies. He's ah. acting like he doesn't know that BuzzFeed does the puppy interviews. However, ah. puppy interview. literally hours after this V-Life happened, BuzzFeed announced they would be interviewing SKZ and ask fans for fan question suggestions. There is no way he did not know about that. Sneaky. It was, oh, just, oh, it was so cute. It was very, right, very it's not out yet, like, so keep an eye out. I mean, I'm gonna check was, that out. It's cute too, but like the puppies are like adorable. So like, <laughs> yeah. Chan's name appears in the credits of their songs more often than anyone else. Depending on the song, he appears on everything from lyrics and arrangement to intro music, computer programming, most of their incredible beats 
created by no 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 that's right i need to learn to read quicker <sighs> Most of the incredible beats in SKZ's tracks were created by him and he'll make beats with the other members when asked. While he started out rapping with Free Ratchet, he also, he's also an incredibly talented vocalist. He tries to downplay himself by giving himself less lines in their music and thus less attention, preferring to let his members shine. Chan, mate. You are the world's best leader, aren't you? You're just an all-round incredible human, but you... You just hero oh my respect for this man is growing with every piece of information that's that's oh, okay oh he he taught himself the song within one to two hours then went inside this man is incredible. We got seven other members to go. Very breathy style to him. Uh, maybe because he's so close to the microphone. Really enunciating that P there, back there. A lot of breath. Really high. Lee no. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, so Lee no, dance lead, uh, dance ratcher, 15 comic credits. Birth name is Lee Mino. Common nicknames Lino, Reno. Representative emoji is a rabbit. Uh, he's a 98 baby, born in South Korea. Uh, SK Zoo merch character is Liebit. Lead no is cute. He's pretty cute, isn't he? Right. Uh, when Lino was recruited by Bang Chan for Stray Kids, he had been a trainee for about a month. He had been a big impression. He had made a big impression in JYP for breaking the record as the fastest trainee to complete JYP's basic dance class. So he's an absolute machine at dance. Lino finished the class in two weeks. The fastest completion before him was Momo, who finished in about three months. What? Other trainees can take a year or more. Bang Chan chose Lino for Stray Kids with the hope that he would become the kid's dance leader. But his short trainee period almost resulted in permanent elimination from the survival show and group. How? That's mind that's mind blowing. Two weeks. When Lino first came in as a trainee, Chan really liked Lino's dancing. He's a natural. Really like that. Bang Chan's really good at saying things in a way that puts a lot of responsibility in Lino regarding his dancing. So you'd look. Ah. He is so cool. Ah. Felix feeling protected by him. That's so cute. But the more and more we go on, Chan's leadership skill, it seems natural. He was a born leader. Like, the, the guy knows how to get 
people to do things and also yeah anyway Lino takes his role as SKZ's dance lead very seriously in the behind the scenes content you can catch him monitoring the members during practice or helping figure out tough choreo during breaks they have some insane dance so excuse me this makes sense yeah, it makes sense. His exceptional dance skills weren't only natural. He had a long resume as a professional dancer before he j joined JYP. No wonder he completed in two weeks. Spent several years building his skills as a dancer with Soul Dance Studio in Korea. You can still find videos of Lino dancing on Soul Dance Studio's YouTube channel. He was also in a dance crew that performed in the World of Dance South Korea qualifiers in 2016. What a legend. 어떻게 두 분은 JYP 연습생으로 시작하게 되신 거죠? 저는 원래 춤을 췄어 가지고 댄스 대회를 나갔다가 어. JYP에서 연락이 와 가지고 한번 오디션을 보게 됐는데 이제 연락이 또 oh, 구절된 cool. 거예요. 그래서 어, 떨어졌구나 싶어 가지고 이제 댄스 생활을 하고 있었는데 mm. 근데 그러다 이제 몇년 뒤에 다시 연락이 와 가지고 Cold after a few years. 어. 들어오게 됐습니다. I'm in no way, shape or form a dancer. Far too well insulated for that. But damn, that was impressive as hell. This is back in 2016. He looks like he has really great control, like muscle control. It's really fluid and sharp. Lino holds second degree black <laughs> second degree black belts in Taekwondo and Hapiko, Hapiko boxes and studied to be a martial arts instructor, all lending to his impressive body control. From when? These guys are like what? He also spent time as a backup dancer for BTS, appearing in music videos and even going on uh, going with them on tour, Lino has said that his time as a dancer made him realise that what he really wanted was to be the main character on stage. Yeah, fair play. Being in the middle of the stage with SKZ while dancing and having fun makes him feel like he completed a life achievement. Good on you. Good, good on him. That's you guys are all insane, but as, yeah, at the end of the at the end of the day, if he's having fun and he feels like he's achieved what he wanted to, that's the most important for him. He was really humble about that as well. He was just saying it like it was just things that happened. I'm like, bro, you do realize you BTS are, right? <laughs> to the rest of the world like if you want to talk about a lot of k-pop in the west to those of us who don't you know know k-pop and you're like oh have you ever heard of k-pop like is that bts or is that blackpink like the guys are huge and he like the humility he showed there i thought was really impressive it was just like yeah i did that it wasn't like yeah i went on tour with them like, Ugh, i'm amazing it was just like yeah it happened Lino is a very competent cook, showing off his skills during his vlogs uh, and V-lives and on Instagram. He is an only child, but he has rescued three cats. He calls his younger brothers. His parents help him care for them. Uh, so we've got Suni Dungi, 
and Dory. My mum would love the top one. My mum loves Ginger Cats. And uh, technically, uh, so she'd love Suni. She'd love Doony, Doongi. Uh, to be fair, she'd love she'd love Dory as well. We currently have a tortoiseshell cat. Just for throwing that out there. He also bring cat treats with him. He also bring cat treats with him on trips, so he can feed whatever kitties he might find. Oh my gosh, what a lovely human being! He was a special on. Uh, he was a special MC on Day Six's Kiss the Radio with Sung Min uh, back in November to October, and he's been an MC on Show Music Corps since August 2021. Oh. Sorry, I had to pause. Filled with murderous intentions. It's like, how dare you, how dare you say to change what I've done in the dance corner. <laughs> <laughs> Lino has a reputation for having a savage and weird personality. He's constantly seen in the behind the scenes content, pestering the other members or watching with a mischievous grin as they run away after bothering him. If you ever watch a live SKZ performance, Z performance, and suddenly see Lino and whoever is next to him smiling, you'll know he just butt hunted them. A game he plays on stage to see how many butts he can touch in a performance. Right, I have to ask, is this a thing in just K-pop in general? Because, like, Sua is the butt hunter of Dreamcatcher. Irene apparently butt hunts for Red Velvet. Is this just a thing, K-pop? There's a one member of a K-pop group that is the butt hunter? Is this a thing? His reputation hides a heart of gold. He has a huge list of charitable contributions, starting in middle, starting in middle school, where he began to sponsor children in need via Unis... These guys are just clearly the nicest human beings in the world and somehow all ended up in the same group. Since he has no brother visit, uh, brothers of his own, he thought it'd be nice to think of his sponsors as little brothers. <laughs> I have a long way to go as a human being. Lino also makes a point to purchase clothing and accessories that benefit children in need, animal shelters, endangered animals and eco-friendly causes. Uh... Are church earrings? Or oh, the earrings pictured left? Worn by Lino generated so many orders that the company had to announce a delay in order completion. Proceeds benefit abandoned pets. <sighs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Lino, as well as the rest of um, Stray Kids, can often be seen wearing safety pin earrings or accessories. The safety pin movement is meant to identify yourself as an ally against discrimination towards marginalised communities. I don't think there's anything I don't love about these guys so far. We're only 13 minutes way th through and we're on the second person. Changbin. Hello, Changbin. So, Changbin, three ratchet, 117 comca credits. Xiao uh, Xiao Xiao Changbin. His stage name is Spear B, Bin, Binny, or Chang Binny. He is a pig rabbit. How does that work? He's a 99er. Uh, and his merch character is the pig plus bunny. Dwi Dwiki? Dwiki. Cool. Uh, as part of Three Ratchet, he's known for his clever wordplay and lyrics. Having come up with words like Helevator for their pre-debut pre title track, or the Not Easy and Noisy combo that became the album title No Easy. Oh, Noisy. Oh, Noisy, that's clever. Noisy refers to the common complaint that SKZ music is considered noise music. Well, go tell those people who complain to shh. Changbin is widely considered one of the best rappers in K-pop. He's incredibly fast, timed at 11.3 syllables per second, but maintains very clear diction and has creative flows regardless of the beat. It's about to show it off. Okay. 
전 춤으로 시작했는데 레드 관심 1도 없었거든요. 오케이, 전 보컬 쌤이 그러라니까 끊어놓는 나야겠다 했어요. 아, That's so cool. No, the teacher told him to do it. 그냥 그냥 발성을 막 배웠어요. 발성 배웠는데 발성 아, 아 하는데 아니 랩 선생님보다 내 발성 더큰 거야. 막 카피 막 하고 막 시작했고 내 춤이 끝나고 이게 처음 카피한 랩이고 이제 내가 써볼까 가사를 써볼까 재밌는 거예요. 음악을 배웠죠. 근데 어 너무 잘하는 거예요. 어 얘는 음악을 해야 되겠다. His unique growling tone is immediately noticeable to anyone who has heard him rap. With his tone and aggressive flow solidifying his dark rapper persona, what may surprise new fans is that Changbin is also a beautiful vocalist. He's able to sound delicate, vulnerable, and clear in complete contrast to the way he raps. Uh, on the original Korean competition show, King of Mass Singer, Changbin's performance shocked the judges who were familiar with him. What a beautiful voice. His family is bigger supporters, often appearing in his vlogs. His sister usually films him or taking in other SKZ members when they go on family trips. Stray kids have called Chang been the center of the group many times. His guidance in the recording studio and his counseling behind closed doors have made the members feel safe and heard many times. What a gem! Through the Two Kids Room series on YouTube, Chang Min has proved himself to be incredibly introspective, but also uncannily observant of those around him. I was very strong with my parents. 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 I am so sorry for pausing. So sorry. Is that is that a Luffy from One Piece figurine on the side there? Sorry. I love One Piece, so I just had to ask. 아빠 나 그렇게 될 거야. 믿어줘. 왜 이러지 막 그랬다는데 갑자기 어느 순간부터 공부 안 하고 막랩 듣고 있고 어디 막 놀러 다니고 막 그러다 보니까 아빠 입장에서 되게 그랬을 거야. 근데 나도 그때는 일단은. 어디서 인정받는 것보다 그냥 부모님한테 인정받고 싶었어. 그래서 더 열심히 하는 거 보여드리고 싶었고, 근데 계속 꾸준히 이렇게 키우다 보니까 여러 가지 살짝 cool. 보고 그러면서 That's 아빠도 nice. 아 얘가 이렇게 열정을 가지고 있구나 하면서 좀 밀어주셨던 것 같아. 어, 지금은 되게 좋아하시지. 진짜 좋아하시지 남들보다. Oh, that's so lovely. Chairman's on-stage persona as an intimidating dark rapper hides a super playful and bright off-stage personality. He's often referred to as the fake back day. Uh, for his frequent agio. Agio? Agio? He loves nothing more than being in the center of the group, throwing out awful jokes, being the loudest in the room, or teaming up with Han to make uh, to make some of the silliest skits and songs he can think of. Volume warning coming up. I'm gonna preemptively turn my PC down. Well, mama. <laughs> well, mama. Have all I want. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> was brilliant. Oh, like some of the other members, Chang Bin practiced Taekwondo before debut. He also claims he was a swimmer, but the other members take pride in pretending it isn't true. That's kind of funny. Over the years, Chang Bin has bulked up considerably, taking the gym very seriously and taking time to learn about the muscular system and how to take care of his body. Can he take, can he teach me 
Can you take me to the gym? I need to go. He says he spends his time training other idols now, though he doesn't talk about who, as well as his own members when they ask. In addition his, to his appearance on King of Mass Singer, Changbin also appeared on the show rap competition uh, Show Me The Money and recently had his first guest host feature on Weekly Idol. Uh, oh, back in August. I don't think I watched that one. Hyunjin. 안녕하세요. 저는 스트레이 키즈의 현진이라고 합니다. 안녕. 안녕. Dance Ratcher. 17 comic credits. Hwang Hyunjin. Nicknames Hyun Jinny Hyun Jinny. Uh, oh, it's a dumpling for his cheeks. No ferret, I'm available. Oh. Uh, is it 2000, baby? Uh, I feel so old when they say that. I remember the, I remember the millennia coming in. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> your merch character is Ginnerit. Somebody will have to explain that to me. Briefly lived in Las Vegas as a kid. Weird place to live, but okay, go for it. Hyunjin is one of two Stray Kids members who didn't join JOP based off seeking audition on his own. He was recruited on the streets while out with his mum. That's slightly weird, but okay. While he didn't have any specific background in dance or music before he started, he did have a solid sports background that has helped his foundation and journey in becoming a respected and popular fourth gen dancer. Like Chan, Hyunjin was a gifted swimmer, almost going pro before he stopped. He also played soccer for his local junior league and tried out sports like skiing and track through his sports club. Is there anything these guys cannot do? Honestly. <laughs> Hyunjin's visuals have resulted in the nickname 4th Gen Prince. Fair, but it's important to know that Hyunjin's success is truly the result of hard work, dedication, and pure passion. During his trainee period, he was criticised for unclear rap pronunciation. To improve, he practised tirelessly using techniques such as rapping with a pen in his mouth and seeking guidance from rappers like Changbin. He worked just as hard on his dance skills, frequently staying by himself in the practice room until 5 or later in the morning. Nah, mate, you would have found me in bed. That's probably why I'm not good at much. <laughs> I'm in bed. Five in the morning. And then what? Got back up to do it all over again. How did... How? I'm <laughs> I bet that would be frustrating. That's a shame. That's a shame. Oh, that's nice. It's good when you find people who bring you up instead of pull you down. Uh, oh, that's nice. Hahaha. 다른 분들이 되게 야, 넌 그냥 잘생겨서 너는 너 아무것도 안 하고 데뷔할 수 있어 막 이런 말 하는 게 되게 그러니까 좋은 말 같기도 하면서 뭔가 그러니까 자존심이 상하는 거야. 나는 연습을 하고 있는데 노력을 하고 있는데 어. 너는 노력해도 
안될것 같으니까 그냥 넌 비주얼로 봐 이런 느낌인 거야. 응. 그냥 돈을 Fair play to him. Yeah, don't want to make it off just your looks. 그 Fair. 그냥 no. 비주얼. Respect the hell out of that. 안 듣기 위해서. I respect the hell out of that. Hyunjin's passion as a dancer is evident to anyone who watches him through his activities with Stray Kids. He was recognized by the production team at Studio Choom and honored with a coveted Artist of the Month feature on the studio's YouTube channel. He attended uh, the School of Performing Arts in the Practical Dance Department to expand the knowledge he was gaining in training. Like the other members of Dance Ratchet, he was chosen to perform solos and collaboration stages with the other artists at various award shows, even opening huge shows like Mama. That's hella impressive. Hyunjin is an only child, but he said before that he shares a closeness with the youngest members of Stray Kids, Sung Min and Ayan, that feel like real brothers. Oh, that's so cool. So cute as well. His dog, Kami, uh, gets more screen time in his vlogs than Hyunjin himself, and he takes Kami along on family trips. Fair. He's a little on the quieter side compared to some of the other members, but Hyunjin has his own rep for being a bit dramatic. He was a show host uh, from Feb 2019 to August 2021. Hyunjin's need to create isn't limited to dance. He's reached out to Bang Chan to foster his interest in music making, likes photography, and has recently found a calling in painting. He hopes to eventually open his own show, but for now he's practicing showing off his beautiful work on the artist social media app Bubble under Hyunpik on Instagram. Or hashtag him pick on Instagram. That sunflower in the middle is freaking amazing. Han! Where are we now? Oh, almost halfway through. Uh, right, three ratchet, 113 comka credits, and his birth name is Han Jisung. Uh, his Ratchet stage name is J1. Nickname's Honey. Uh, I keep calling that a chipmunk, but is that supposed to be a squirrel? He's also a 2000s baby. Uh, spent six years in Malaysia, but was born in South Korea. Uh, and he's Han Kwok uh, Instagram hashtag love you. He's a cute face. One of Bang Chan's longest friendships, Han is fondly referred to as the first Stray Kid. If SK, uh, Stray Kid is known as an all-rounder group, Han is definitely its ace, regularly surprising fans and other artists alike. Han is recognized for his high level of skill in pretty much everything. He could fit in as the main dancer in just about any group, and his rapping style is just as legendary as Chang Bin's. Oh, I didn't get to finish that. I thought I had time. Sorry, let's go back a second. Chang Bin's Han is also known for his high speed flows, but where Chang Bin's aggression feels like a fight, Han's area tones show off his melodic preferences. Han is most often grouped with the rap line, but his rage and tone finds him in the vocal line in a lot of their songs. Even before debut, he's been able to hit notes considered to be in the female range. Wow. He's referred to as uh, Stray Kid's melodic or lyrical rapper, and he's able to leverage his powerful vocals and range to elevate his rapping. He's also featured on King of Mass Singer, where just like with Chang Min, his reveal shocked the judges despite only having two hours of sleep before the performance. I'm impressed these guys sleep at all, but the fact he did it off two hours is crazy. I, do we get to see it? He's doing that on two hours sleep. I barely function on two hours sleep. Away from the group, Han is a bit of an introvert. He prefers to spend his free time laying in bed watching anime, K-dramas and movies or other random videos on whatever topic he can find on YouTube. Fair enough. He uses the feelings he gets from what he watches to enhance his lyrics, imagining what would happen if a movie ended in a sad way instead of happy, wish you back. Or what would happen if he acted on the urge to talk to a stranger he took interest in. 
uh, he took interest in. In his vlogs, he's usually hanging out in his room. He talks about his favourite shows and movies, like Howl's Moving Castle. It's brilliant, by the way, and listens to music. If you didn't guess, I like One Piece, so I watch One Piece. Okay. Sunmin, how did you open JYP? JYP seems to reach everywhere. Can't enter in a year. 그, 그 전에 아침에 하나 보고 집에 가려고 하는데 JYP가 또 있다는 거야. 내가 그쪽을 아야 어차피 안 돼. 하면서 막안 가려고 했단 말이야. 나는 그래서 한번 그래도 가보자. 연예인 혹시 볼 줄도 있잖아. 있잖아. 혹시나 볼수 있잖아. 해가지고 80몇 분부터 80몇번 들어오세요. 이러면 5층으로 올라간단 말이야. 걸어서 그때 이제 딱 다섯 명이서 이제 이제 나 빼고 다 노려왔어. 노래하고 나 랩하고 이제 딱 내려가려는데 그때 이제 그 직원 누나가 나한테 기다리라고 한 다음에 이차 언니 그 야, 그럼 그 친구가 널 살린 거네. 그렇지, 그 친구가 날 살린 그 거네. 그 친구랑 같이 안 봤으면 너 여기 없을 수도 있겠다. 어, 진짜 없을 수도 있어. That's crazy. 그 친구한테 되게 고마워하고 있어. It really is the smallest little decisions in life that can lead to some massive stuff. Han plays the guitar and went to DEF Academy in Korea for music. Instead of finishing high school in Korea, he took and passed the GEDs for elementary, middle and high school. By the age of 16... Oh, shut up! <laughs> he has an older brother and an adorable pup named Bama. Bama? Bama. He's well known as the member most likely to forget dance moves and lyrics, and yet somehow passed his GEDs for elementary, middle, and high school by the age of eighteen. Uh, by the age of sixteen. Okay, then he forgets how to how he sang on his own cards during recordings and at a fan meeting for Maniac promotions. He had Bang Chan hold up his handwritten lyrics for his verse in Venom. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Despite being an introvert, Han is known as the mood maker of the group, naturally becoming the host in group activities with constant high energy and quick witted improv. So he's kind of like a, a pseudo E introvert. One of his favorite things is singing songs in tone deaf versions on purpose or changing songs into R&B versions with excessive runs. If you hear loud singing in the background of the behind the scenes videos, it's usually him. When eating, he has a habit of stuffing his cheeks with food, giving him the appearance of a squirrel or Quoka. Quoka. Fans have affectionately termed it this as cheekies. <laughs> it is like a squirrel though, isn't it? It's so adorable. <laughs> Ah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Ah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, 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 that's what what is going on with his eyes in the middle of that photo? Is he wearing contacts? Felix, stop looking at me like that. Felix. Hello, Stray Kids. Felix. Stop it. 
Felix Dance Ratcher, 17 comic credits, Lee Felix Youngbok. Oh, is that why his Korean name is Lee Youngbok? Um, common nicknames Lix, Lixie, Ha, Hengbok. And he is a chick. Uh, also in the 2000s, born in Sydney, Australia. Aussies. Although when it comes to cricket and rugby, Aussies. <laughs> Merch character, uh, Bokari. I have to check out what that is. Like Bang Chen, Felix grew up in Australia. He was scouted on the street before leaving his family behind to follow his dreams and career. He has a background in swimming and taekwondo. Do they all do taekwondo or something and swim? Where he gained medals in several competitions and participated in a lot of school performances and talent shows. He knew he was inter interested in performing after a school performance at five years old and his interest in K-pop and the unique stages drew him to idol life. <gasps> he finished school before he moved to Korea, but his struggles with Korean resulted in his near elimination from the Stray Kid survival show. I mean, fair. Korean is a bit difficult to learn. I'm trying, but I haven't really got past. And you're gonna say, oh, come some nida. Ne. Aniyo? Ne, you say, Hongo Hango to. No? Hongo Hango to Yago? Never, I took the Hande. The Yenabodan. Who's Yenabodan or Kiri Dajo? Jung Tano is on Tegi. 좋아졌어. 그래서 옛날에 내가 이거 말을 많이 실수했을 때 표현하는 게 너무 잘못했단 말이야. 근데 우리도 다른 나라 말 이렇게 영어나 일본어나 그런 거 배우면은 yeah, exactly. 그냥 생각보다, 같아. 생각보다 응. 힘들어. 맞아 힘들어. 그래서 나 말이 많이 늘었어? 아니. 응. 엄청 많이 늘었어. 그냥 가끔 우리보다 좋은 단어를 선택해서 말할 때가 더 많아. 아 진짜? 응. 아 예쁘다. 아 멋있다. 그런데 너는 아름답다, 행복해 막 이런 이런 추상적인 단어를 많이 쓰는 것 같아. 아 그게 좋은 거. 맞아. 말을 예쁘게 해, 이게. 아, 아. Felix is most well known for his deep voice and fierce stage presence. Yep. Grabbing new fans' attention through his killing parts in God's Menu. Yep. And thunderous. Yet to get to that one. Uh, on top of his dancing and rap skills, Felix beatboxes, plays piano, of course he does, and even has a killer mosquito. Okay. Previously self-conscious about his higher vocal register, he's showing off. Uh, he's showing off his vocals more and more on songs like Hashtag Love Stay and during his solo V lives. Who can do the mosquito thing? That's silly. <laughs> They're also genuinely impressive with the vocals. Are you the definition of insanity? Or am I? Oh, it must be nice to love someone. Is this eye okay? Keeps covering his eye. That was impressive. <laughs> Felix has earned the nickname Sunshine, Vitamin, and Hing Hingbok? Hingbok, the Korean word for happiness, due to his bright and positive personality. He's incredibly affectionate and cuddly. In between filming and waiting for schedules, you'll see him cuddled up to members or giving out massages when they're tired. Oh, what a lovely bloke. He gets most of his happiness out of making others around him happy. He brings home baked brownies and cookies to show performances or JYP to give out to staff and other idols. What a, what, what a gem. I'm genuinely, can I have a cookie or a brownie or something? Please, Felix, please. 
please. Tell you what, if I get a brownie, I will let him try some of my raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake, which, not to brag, but has been requested for several birthdays uh, amongst friends, I'm just saying. And I won an award at work for it. So your brownies, my cheesecake, let's make it happen. Somebody hook us up. Give me one. Brownie, you don't. Put your brownie for you. Felix's sweetness doesn't stop with him. Uh, with his baking, he's famous among the other members for surprise events. He told Sung Min he needed help carrying something and surprised him with a birthday cake. He'll even try to sneak paying for food when he thinks no one is paying attention. <sighs> oh my gosh. Felix hosted Pops in Seoul from July 2019 to January 2020. He's a PC gamer. Nice. Saying that he uses gaming to de-stress and sort out his worries. Yeah, same. He used to hide his freckles, but after lots of encouragement, he thinks they're his charming point. Don't hide who you are, Felix, because you are lovely. What a lovely human being. Felix's Korean name Yongbok was given to him by his grandfather and means scent of a dragon. <laughs> Excellent name. His English name was given to him by his father. His happy personality inspired the name as it meant lucky or happy. He has both a younger and older sister and is very close to his family. He and Bang Chan both were separated from their families for over two years because of the COVID pandemic. Yeah, COVID sucks. Both families were able to go to Korea to spend time with the boys and attend their Korean concert in May 2022. Aww. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, COVID suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can get that from parents. Ah, 아니다. 넌 절대 안 간다. 근데 또 못 간다. 못 간다. 근데 계속 내가 내가 가고 내가 가고 싶은 이유를 보여드렸어. 어필했어. 응. 그래서 내가 혼자 부모님들한테 뭐 보여드리고 뭐 아, 전 나랑 되게 비슷하다. 어. 그러니까 어, 막 저는 진짜 이렇게 막 춤을 관심도 가지고 있고. 응. 춤은 뭐 배우는 게 너무 재밌고 맞아. That's cool. 승민, 승민. I'm gonna go with that. 안녕하세요. 저는 스키제 승민입니다. 승민. Okay. 승민. His 15 comic accreditations is in vocal rapture. Uh, Kim Sungmi, Mini or Puppy, representative emoji. There isn't one, but I think I saw in the comments before I looked at the video that there are corrections in this. Um, so we'll look at the corrections in a second. Uh, date of birth was September. He's an o still an Olight, so a lot of them have birthdays quite close together. Um, was born in Seoul, South Korea. Spent time in LA in the fourth grade. His merch character is a puppy. Oh, okay, so is, is he a puppy? Is, is, is that his thing? Shouldn't mean... Originally a baseball player, Sung Min joined JYP after getting second place in JYP's 13th annual open auditions in 2017. Wow. He made a huge impression on Bang Chan before his audition. While out to eat, Sung Min was the only JYP hopeful to approach the trainee table where Bang Chan was seated. He greeted the table before going to eat his own meal. 
Taking greetings seriously, Bang Chan said that simple acts should let him know everything he needed to know about who Sung Min was. Nice. Later they performed together and Bang Chan saw his talent as a vocalist, deciding then that he wanted Sung Min for his team. That's well done, that man. <laughs> How did you go from baseball? Oh, we got injured. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to say, how did you get from baseball to, <laughs> to being a K-pop idol? He's happy on stage. Good. Affectionately called Dandy Boy by the members, Sung Min has a strong reputation as a diligent and hard worker, starting as a baritone that helped fill in Felix's lower register in their songs. Sung Min's personal sense of responsibility as a vocalist grew as the group transitioned to eight members began taking on more vocal lessons and expanding his technique and range to be more versatile and to take some of the burden off of Han, who had suddenly become responsible for all of the highest notes in their songs and a lot uh, and a lot more of the vocals than before, in addition to his raps. Well done for stepping up. I love that. That's a team player right there. And they all seem to be team players though, they all seem brilliant. You <laughs> look really soft. He's strong minded. I respect that. Oh. Yeah, I bet they had loads to do. Yeah, I bet they had loads to do. Oh. <laughs> That's great. It, and again, that shows Han, you know, it takes a lot of, I think, open-mindedness to recognize that you can learn from anybody. It doesn't matter if you're older and they're younger or if they're older than you. Like, you can learn from anyone. I, I, I rate that. I respect that. Oh, sorry. Heavily relied on by other members, Sung Min has filled in rap parts for shows where not every person could attend and has been chosen to represent the group's vocals several end-of-the-year performances. Sung Min is also asked to perform frequently at variety shows like Weekly Idol and has recorded an official um, soundtrack for the popular K-drama Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha and was even featured by himself on KBS's Lee Mujin service. That's cool. Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. <laughs> I love how much they support and big each other up. Like that is that is a great friendship right there. That's a brotherhood. Like I love that they big each other up so much. <laughs> Oh, 
Flippin' neck. That was so good. <laughs> All of them are so impressive. Right, Swingman was a host for Ararang's After School Club uh, in 2018. KBS is a Wee K-Pop in 2019. A guest host with Lino on Day 6 Kiss the Radio in no, 2020 to 2021. He's such a huge fan of JYP's senior group Day 6 that fans joke that he's the president of the official Day 6 fan club. Love that. He's a hobby photographer often seen on set with his camera. He took the picture of I Am Pictured right on the set of the XMV. That's hella impressive. He's so well known with SK, uh, with Stray Kids as Puppy that even his sister calls it him when he's home. <laughs> You're like an actual puppy. <laughs> Way too friendly. <laughs> what are you doing, little puppy? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> right, last but not least, IN. IN, right, vocal ratchet, 17 comp credits. Yang uh, Jungin, is that why we call him IN? Ini, IN, IN, baby bread, representative emoji. We'll check the comments in a minute. Also born in 2000, born in Busan, South Korea. Wait, I thought he was the youngest. Is he 2001? Is that incorrect? Because the others were 2000, and if he's the youngest, he cannot be ahead of them. So that must that must just be a typing error. Um, born in Busan, South Korea. You ever watch Train to Busan? Love that film. Um, SK Zoo merchant character is a fox. Oh, so his representative emoji is a fox. Again, well, I think uh, Kels the Killer put um, a comment saying, read these comments, because there are corrections. Oh, been sat here for so long. Stiff. IN said, as the letter I and the letter N is the youngest member of the group, also known as the Maknae. As trainees, Bang Chen and IN were on the same team, to put together a performance for, ha for a Halloween event. They focused the performance around IN and it received a really positive response. After seeing IN's confidence and charm on stage, Bang Chan made the decision to include IN in the team he was building for Stray Kids. Best leader, Bang Chan. Best leader, Bang Chan, after GU. But I'm biased, so. <laughs> Well, I'm glad he's with these guys. <laughs> That's amazing. IN is probably the most spoiled maknae in K-pop. In Korea, it's considered good manners to have the oldest person to take the first bite of food or have the youngest serve the oldest and pour them drinks. In Stray Kids, they have a tradition that the youngest eats first and the oldest serves the youngest. Chan's servant heart is crazy. I 
have so much respect for these guys. They're so lovely. They frequently call him Hengnim, which is older brother slash boss in Ian's Busan dialect and is an equivalent to Hyung. Hyung? Hyung. They have him lead the group for acceptance speeches or red carpets, and Bang Chan even wrote a song for him called Maknae On Top. Well, we will definitely have to check that out at some point. <laughs> Our unexpected special guest. <laughs> the eldest of Stray Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, big pro. Welcome, big pro. Did my sound go? Is there no sound? Oh, can you not play sound because of... <laughs> it looked like he's protecting him. That's hilarious. Protect the eldest. Oh, okay, so it must have been um, block sound. Ian is most well known for his megawatt smile and his massive dimples, typically lighting up the stage in the middle of performances. Stray Kids members call him a source of energy and happiness, as his smile rarely loses his face, even when upset. He also continues to attend vocal lessons, recently swapping over to the same vocal coach as Sung Min. Ian noticed how Sung Min improved, and after visiting one of his classes, decided to take Sung Min's recommendation. Love that. Ian has always been a little more insecure about his vocals, but after Stray Kids competed on and subsequently and subsequently won, spoiler, Idol Competition Show Kingdom in 2021, Ian has shown a huge amount of growth and confidence in himself. Somebody has asked for us to watch uh, the Side Effects uh, X Gods Menu Kingdom performances. We will check that out at some point. Um... But I'm glad he's got some confidence and growth, and that's really cool. Nice. <laughs> 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 That's some impressive vocals. Uh, initially, Ian's family wasn't keen on the idea of him becoming a trainee. They made a deal with him that if he didn't get into a company before finishing middle school, he would have to give up. He failed auditions at several companies, including JYP, before JYP called him back and had him audition again. These days, his family support his career with both his older and younger brother and his parents making off-screen cameos on his vlogs. Until joining Stray Kids, he was a trainee in JYP's weekend program. So they have multiple programs. I don't know how train like being a trainee works in Korea, so um, be interested to know how that operates. Um, because yeah, they were saying earlier that they they kind of pulled him across from the weekend group. Um, so I would be interested to know how being a trainee works. Must be difficult. 
I'm glad his family support him. I'm glad all their families support them, actually. Ian is a fan of video games, but is famously very bad at them. So am I, mate. Don't worry about it. He thinks they're fun, even though he loses a lot more than he wins. What? Sometimes it's just fun to play. He's incredibly clumsy. He drops, spills, or knocks things over all the time. This has been called INA or Ian again for how much it happens. I used to do stupid things all the time, and it became such a joke with my friends at school. It was called a DM or a like a uh, mine something moment. It, I can't tell you the first letter. Uh, <laughs> He was briefly a child model at the age of seven. Wow. Ian has a love for trot, a traditional style of singing popular among older Koreans. In July 2020, he appeared on the trot competition show Favourite Entertainment. He sang uh, Camellia Lady, impressing the judges with his young age and passion in singing a harder song. Nice. Ian and Sungmin both share a love of fashion and have both admitted to spending way too much money on clothes. They do have a great, great sense of fashion. Looking at this. They all dress so well. They all look so cool. I suck. <laughs> More than once, they've broken promises to each other to stop buying new clothes and shoes. <laughs> Ian shows these off the most on Instagram, where his outfit of the day posts are more frequent than posts from any other member. Fair. If you got something that you know you enjoy speaking about, do it. Maybe we'll have to check that out. As you will, as you will. Ah. Oh, as you will. Is this supposed to Lion King? They're crazy. <laughs> so now what? Stan Stray Kids, I assume. Socials, you can keep up to date. I'll come, I'll find these out afterwards. Instagram. How did Felix grow his hair out so long? Or is that a wig? <laughs> I don't have TikTok, wow, but I would I would really get it dance. just for these guys. Wow, you can really dance. He went. He went. They said we've both been dancing all this time. What a coincidence! <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> See me up in the club with fifty eleven girls, posted in the back, down my fangs. That's hilarious. If you want to continue learning about the kids, here are a few places to start. Playlist link below. So one kid's room, two kid's room, two kid's room, uh, stream kid's code, 
Stream Kids Records, Stream Kids, uh, Stream Kids, Stray Kids Player. Thanks for watching. If you found the content helpful, I would appreciate it if you left a like. Damn straight you get a like for that. What, what an amazing video. Right, I want to check out these comments. Oh, important. Please consult pin comment for minor corrections. There you go. The corrections in the pin comment. For a more detailed breakdown of Changbin's wrapping speed, please reference the comment directly below, supplied by at Equino. Equino? Hyunjin's section had two separate dance clips included from performance at the MAA Awards, but they were blocked. That's annoying. Seungmin's representative emoji is a puppy. Yep, Ayn is born in 2001. Yeah, I see, I thought it... Sorry, I thought it was a mistake. And his representative emoji is a fox. Huge thanks uh, to at Von, uh, Von Wong Glick for pointing the emojis out. Can't believe I forgot to add those in. It happens to the best of us. But thank you, Kelsey Killer, for such an amazing and in depth no spoiler guide to Stray Kids. I thought that was brilliant. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> No, what an epic guide. Uh, we have been recording for almost an hour and a half. Ooh, I'm sorry it's so long. Okay, right, we're stopping here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, if you are here to the end, this is stupidly long. I'm so sorry. Um, but thank you ever so much for recommending it. We will go check out Tino Sugar's one at a later date, although I assume that video is going to be even longer. Um, Especially this one is so long. Anyway, yes, but thank you ever so much. So we will be getting into Stray Kids stuff. Um, I Everybody's comments, everybody that made a song suggestion, I've tallied it. Here, it just loads. You guys have been amazing. But Thunderous was the outright winner uh, alongside Easy. Uh, so I think we'll check out Thunderous first, then Easy, and then I'll do a couple of others to start. And then we will just, we will crack on, we will crack on with this list. But yeah, anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you ever, ever, ever so much for uh, suggesting it. Stays, you have been wonderful. Um, I hope everybody has a super blessed day. And uh, as always, I shall catch you in the next video. Bye.